an emotional relief dog sent to South Florida to help lift the spirits in the wake of the Surfside collapse. Now getting a much needed lift himself. He flew halfway across the country to comfort first responders, but got hurt on the job. As 7 Nicole Ensalada tells us, thanks to the generosity of a business owner, he is now back home. Teddy has a personality that just seems to draw your heart out. And in an environment with little hope, like the rubble pile at Champlain Tower South in Surfside, comfort dog Teddy did just that for first responders. Sophia Barrett, Teddy's owner, is from Hollywood, but now lives in Philadelphia. It's horrible what is happening in Surfside. Um, and to be able to be that bright spot in people's days was a privilege. She and the six-year-old rescue, a trained crisis response dog, spent three weeks in Surfside until he was injured, his back legs just not working. Teddy is a Basset Hound lab mix, and he's kind of got a longer back. So his owner thinks maybe that in combination with being out on those rocks and being in the heat for about three weeks may have led to that injury. His vet said flying home commercial would be too stressful and a long drive would be too hard on him. So Sophia made an appeal for help. Enter Titan Aviation Group. When I'm having a bad day, my dog puts a smile on my face. And uh, so what he was doing down there was great. As soon as I saw it, I wanted to get involved. His company offered a ride on a Hawker 800 XP eight seater. Teddy will have first class service, of course. He's going to be on a private jet and uh, air conditioning, of course. And I'm sure he'll have access to some water as well. Oh, it's even better than that. While he needed some help getting up the stairs and some guidance making his way through the cabin. He's doing it. He had a comfy couch all to himself. Once he was settled and happy, the jet took off for Philly. The rescue of the rescuer just about complete. He was out there and worked his heart out to, to meet all those people and uh, to give them a lick and, and be friendly with them. Big men that are in these rubbles grabbing the dog's face and just giving them a hug. Um, he brings them a relief. Nicole Linsalata, 7 News. And so a donated flight like this normally costs about $10,000. As for Teddy and his family, they landed safely in Pennsylvania shortly after 6 o'clock 